Welcome to Aromatic Bangladeshi Kitchen. I'm Parvin Chowdhury. Today, um, I will cook um, something different. It's tuna chop. Um, so I'm, I'll show you how to the easy way to cook the uh, tuna chop. You can say tuna chop or tuna kebab. So first, let me introduce you to the spicy what I'm going to use. It's a quite spicy. So first, I have chili flake. This is uh, ginger powder. I'm using a lot of stuff is powder because when you put the powder, it will make chop little crunchy. So this is ginger powder, garlic uh, powder, little uh, chopped chili. And then I have fresh cilantro, chopped cilantro. Then I have um, chopped onion, little bit of flour, and little bit of cumin. And then salt for taste it. Then of course you need a bread crumb. And this is a mashed potato. It's like a dry potato. You can use the boiled potato, you can use um, like a dry one, but when you're using the dry one, the, the tuna comes taste uh, more crunchy and tastier. And this is the tuna. So I have two can of tuna. So now I'm going to show you, um, I'm, I have to mix the mixed for the kebab, then I'm gonna start mix, uh, mixing all the spicy. So I will take my gloves out. All right, so. Chili flakes, um, if you don't like too much spicy, you don't need to use it. Um, one more thing, the tuna, when you're taking it, make sure you take all the water out from there. And this is like one tablespoon, so I, I put two tablespoon. And then maybe half, um, actually it'll be one, uh, ginger powder, tablespoon. Then garlic, also one tablespoon. And then, um, I am not going to use too much chili, uh, chopped chili, because uh, you don't want, I don't want them to be too spicy. So just a little bit of, just for uh, flavor. And then cumin, like um, one tablespoon. And then flour, it makes the crunchy. So if you want to use it flour, you can. If you don't want to use it, it's perfectly fine. You can also use the bread crumb. So I just use one tablespoon and this is like I have a half onion I chopped it so I'm gonna put that in oh and you need eggs also um, and then I'm gonna mix the cilantro um, cilantro give you like very good flavor on it uh, when you're biting it and then a little bit of salt salt for taste so I'm gonna see if it's this good enough I think this is enough and then I will use um, the mashed potato powder. Like I said, you can use the boiled potato too. All right, so all the spices mixed. Now I'm going to use um, my gloves to mix it. You can mix it and then you can make, um, make the roll and leave it in the freeze. You can dip it and then you can fry it later too. So let me mix this and I am going to put one egg there. When you put the egg, so it's uh, stay together when you're frying it. Okay, so that's another thing. It's very easy and simple. Okay, so while I'm mixing it, I'm gonna um, heat up my oil for a uh, so let's, okay, so I'm gonna keep the stove on while I'm doing this. This have to be like very soft and uh, when you're mixing it, you have to mix it very well. So I might put a little bit of salt just to make sure it has enough salt. It look like really mixed. Uh, I just wanna make sure it's all spices mixed and everything. Um, I feel like I'm going to put a little bit of potato mix. So when you use the dry potato, um, the tuna, is, uh, like the mix comes drier because it, ha it stays in the water or oil, so it's very soft. When you use the dry potato, it comes, like look at this, how um, soft it is. Now it will be easy to make it roll. Um, all right. So well. This is mixed. You have to mix it for a while. So now I'll put some oil in there. This is just to fry it. 
you can just also air fry it too. All right, I'm gonna heat it up a little bit so the oil gets hit faster. Now I'm gonna uh, use another egg just to When I'm frying it, I'm going to use the egg. So I'm going to just mix the egg. And so this is, I'm going to use it um, when I'm frying it. So now I can start making a bowl for it. You can make whatever shape you want, but I'll make it like round shape because you need to use both hands. So see, because of the onion, it's like, so this is where I'm going to keep every single one. So when my oil is ready, I can just start frying it. So you can make it like this and you can just put it in the deep fridge. And then once um, you feel like eating it, you can just fry some of it. It stays good for like a couple months, two months, three months in the fridge. You can use it for snacks. You can use it with rice. It's really good. When you're having um, parties, maybe you can just make it and put it for snacks too. I use like really less chili pa uh, pepper because um, I don't want to spice. But if you want it really spicy, you can put a lot of chili on there. So hopefully my oil is almost heated up, but I'm going to wait a little bit, make a couple more. <laughs> Sometimes if you have the onions, it comes out, the shape doesn't come correctly. So, right. And you want to make it, don't make it like too... Um, thick you want to flat it so it's cooked inside because when you're frying it it's going to be fast fry very fast see how I make this um, the raw one now I'm going to fry it so you just take one each one and then you soak it in the egg and then you just put a little bit breadcrumbs so it give you the crunchy outside so this is how you, now I'm going to fry it. You want to fry it in the lower heat um, so it doesn't, <laughs> let me go down, okay. It doesn't burn the chop and then it doesn't, um, it's also cooked inside. So if you do it a slow heat first, you heat up the oil so it goes, the smell goes away from the oil. Um, oil then you just fry it in lower heat so you make sure you just have the um, breadcrumb all over outside so now I'm gonna try to flip the first one I made I didn't check the salt so I hope it's came correct if it's break maybe you can fix also good I had like two can of tuna I made almost like three seven eight ten ten piece it's good ten piece of uh, tuna chop fry you can also do um, air fry too but they uh, I don't know how taste that gonna be air fry because there is no oil so almost done all right so I'll let it fry and then let me clean up I'll be right back all right, so I am back. It's almost, uh, some of them is done. You want to flip it, um, make sure it's all cooked. Um, see how slow I am cooking? So make sure it doesn't break and it cooks inside too. So I'm going to flip every single one. Look like most of them are done. Let me take some of them out. So I made a plate with all the decoration and then I'm taking it in there so it's very easy way I made it like I use a lot of dry stuff so you don't need to you know um, like uh, chopped I use chopped and dry stuff not like a blended lot of stuff because you can do also ginger blended but I use the dry because the it's so it inside the kebab it's like dry not really so, um, soggy when you taste it, you'll feel it. It's different taste because it's more drier. So some of them done. I'm gonna take it out. So my tuna chop is done. Uh, see how easy I made it. 
uh, really easy and simple. You can uh, try it home. Uh, thank you for watching Aromatic Bangladeshi Kitchen and also thank you Acton TV to record my show. Thank you and enjoy.